Yes, welcome to your favorite segment. Or my favorite segment for that matter. I go by the name of Bike Mosses, or it's Bike Mon, every social media platform. And it's time for Strength of a Woman. And we do this every single Wednesday uh, from around this time uh, till later, Ron. So today is a special day because I have a very powerful woman in studio with me. But before I introduce the White Fair 4 channel on Twitter, White Fair 4 underscore channel on Instagram, and White Fair 4 on Facebook. All right. So uh, this lady uh, studied uh, her psychology at the University of Nairobi. Uh, she got a job. And then she decided to resign and start her own business. She, go by, she goes by the name Lois Kamanu Karibusana. Thank you so much for having me. Uh -huh. I'm uh, so excited. You're so excited. <laughs> uh, yes, there's a reason to be excited. Yeah. I'm excited as well. Uh, but before we get into, that, like, into it, uh, your camera is number four. Uh, so if I missed anything, I like to give everybody an opportunity to introduce themselves, mm -hmm. uh, all the AKAs they have, mm -hmm. all the credentials they have, mm -hmm. if their CVs are as long as <laughs> your vice chancellor <laughs> or your former vice chancellor, uh, number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. My name is Lois Kamanu mm -hmm. and I'm um, a founder of Modest Collection and uh, I studied uh, counseling psychology in the University of Nairobi. I'm equally a uh, certified sign language interpreter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right. uh, that's just about it. This is something you studied in school, sign language interpretation? interpretation. Yeah, I'm actually a certified. You're a certified one? Interpreter. All right, yeah. so my sign language <laughs> interpreter uh, today is Lois Command. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. All right, so uh, did you always see yourself doing business or in business? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you about it. Uh -huh. The moment I entered the University of Nairobi, uh -huh. I decided, you know what? Uh -huh. All my circle, my family, uh -huh. they're all entrepreneurs, my parents. So I've seen the struggle of entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. So I knew, mm -mm, there's no way. This is not for you. No, no, this I'm is going not to be for me. Let or me I'm just going get to employed. work with kids somewhere. Exactly. Uh -huh. Or I go and have some counseling with some children because uh -huh. I interned in so many hospitals dealing uh -huh. with children. Uh -huh. So I thought, this is it. Uh -huh. But until you finish your internship, mm -hmm. you try to look for jobs, mm -hmm. they're not there. All right. You tarmac day and night, mm -hmm. there's nothing. So this was your motivation to get into business? Yes. It, not motivation, but say, mm -hmm. like a push. Like a push? Yeah. All right. You push so uh, we thank the government for not having jobs for us. <laughs> that is why we have more <laughs> exactly. questions today. All right. So uh, <laughs> you get into university, you study psychology, mm -hmm. uh, sign language, yeah. and uh, you got a job for a while. Yeah, but actually, mm -hmm. it wasn't a job in the field. Mm -hmm. It was a job in a real estate firm mm -hmm. where we used to do sales. something totally different from what totally you studied. Totally different. Mm -hmm. But when you're desperate, anything goes by. Mm -hmm. So, got a real estate uh, job mm -hmm. where I we used to be in sales. Mm -hmm. So, technically, you're in the malls, mm -hmm. in the streets, advertising, mm -hmm. day night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, then later. You figured, you mm. found a niche for yourself, yeah. right? Uh, the story that leads up uh, to you opening Modest mm -hmm. is very interesting. Yeah. You used to be a retailer online. Y yes. All right, what were you selling online? So the journey began uh, back in uh, 2016 for mm -hmm. Modest Collection. Initially, I used to go to Isili mm -hmm. and get some clothes, take photos, and uh -huh. try sell. Mm -hmm. But say becoming a challenge because mm -hmm. you don't have a shop. Mm -hmm. There's no capital. The shops in Nairobi, in the city, are very expensive. Yes, I had a guest yesterday yeah. who told me about something called Goodwill. Yeah. What is this Goodwill thing? Goodwill. It's about millions of money. Uh -huh. So seriously. It's paralyzing a lot of youths around here. You cannot afford that. Uh -huh. Where you're straight from school, mm -hmm. there's no you can afford a stall in the city. Mm -hmm. So what happened after that? Uh, I got insights on how even to import some commodities. Mm -hmm. So that's why now the journey starts staring up. Mm -hmm. I start importing bugs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will take photos with mm -hmm. my own phone mm -hmm. and uh, post them online. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, the first three months, mm -hmm. no call. No call, whatever. No call, no you nothing. You stay oh with your clothes. I do the answer to the man. I'm not going to. Let's move the VIPR. People, you know, you have to try your own products before uh -huh. you give it to people. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, fast forward. Uh -huh. Uh, after selling them for quite some time, uh, mm -hmm. things started picking up. Mm -hmm. But now you find I cannot do all the deliveries by myself and mm -hmm. they have time frames. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you get one order is in Mombasa Road, mm -hmm. one is in Thika Road. Mm -hmm. How will you meet the time limits? Mm -hmm. So if I go to deliver one, mm -hmm. the other I give my Buddha Buddha guy, mm -hmm. and then uh -huh. oh, you're going to be disappointed because they'll not be there on time. Mm -hmm. They'll not. Uh, they always have some tricks. They always have some traffic. Nimishi kwa na police. Say zo mingisha kazi zingine uko katikati. Okay. So it's like after some time, Everybody's I'm like. Everybody's trying to get paid in Nairobi. 
So I'm like, you know what? Uh -huh. I'm sick of this. Uh -huh. Let me find a solution. Uh -huh. But by that time, I was interacting with so many online sellers. Uh -huh. So I realized this is actually a problem most of us are facing. Uh -huh. Why can't I be the solution uh -huh. finder? All right. So most people uh, who are selling online had the same problem. Yes. All right. Uh, from the people who are selling pastries, cake is in Africa, kazi me bondeka. Me bondeka. Ama wo zinafuka kama zina nukamoshi. And also the issue of money. Uh huh. Umeenda umelipwa. Where will you remove your boda boda guy? Uh huh. But now for us now, I decided, you know what, it's time mm. to bring a turn around, uh -huh. bring professionalism into, into this, this delivery field. Uh, system. Yeah. Yes. So you got your first motorbike? I got my first motorbike through right. a lot of hassle. Uh -huh. Obviously, you don't have the finances by that time. Mm -hmm. You approach your bank, mm -hmm. you don't have the money. So mm -hmm. you have to fight. Mm -hmm. But all in all, things went through. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. So, uh... Maybe you won't tell us uh, how many motorbikes you have as it now, but mm -hmm. why did you go the direction of buying your own motorbikes mm -hmm. rather than just uh, the Uber way, where you get people with bikes, mm -hmm. brand them, mm -hmm. and sell them the dream? Um, what I don't like about the Uber guy, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, this thing, the application, mm -hmm. once you've requested, uh, mm -hmm. you're getting someone random, mm -hmm. not someone who's personalized mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. So you not guarantee mm -hmm. that the service to your customer will be 100%. All right. That is a very good point right there. But yeah. what I actually meant is, mm -hmm. uh, why did you actually go the way of buying your own bikes mm -hmm. and, uh, in this business mm -hmm. rather than just uh, uh, having pe uh, people outside. with bikes already to come and then to train them and then sell them the dream and then brand them? No, 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 uh -huh. no. For me, I took a different approach because uh -huh. I want everything personalized uh -huh. and to have control of everything because uh -huh. that's the only way where you can empower what you have uh -huh. to the other people. Uh -huh. Yes. You All understand? right, and that is how you can control yes. and make sure there's uh, the highest quality possible. E exactly. You have to be in control. All right. Yeah. So where did the name come from? Oh, well, it's collection. Uh -huh. I needed something classy, uh -huh. but class was already taken. Uh -huh. um, most of fashion stuff mm -hmm. was already taken. So mm -hmm. I thought if I can mix modest and style, mm -hmm. what's the definition? Uh -huh. It's modest. All right. Having the class, <laughs> but in a stylish way. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. I love that. Uh, please share with them your social media handles, uh, your mm -hmm. personal and the business ones, so they can check it out while we have this conversation. Oh, yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. you can check out, like, right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, Facebook, Lois Kamanu. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Lois underscore Kamanu. Then also you can follow us on our official page, Modest underscore Collections. Yes. All right. Uh, your personal, my fans want to Lisa. <laughs> what about your personal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what exactly about my personal? Your personal Instagram, that is. Yeah, Lois, Lois underscore Kamano. Kamano. Lois underscore Kamano. You had it yes. straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to the matter now. Mm -hmm. So right now you're into the delivery business yes. only. You don't retail. No. You just deliver? Yes. All right. What are some of the challenges you faced in this? Oof. Since you got your first bike to now delivering? Because uh, people always want to complain about something. Yes, <laughs> obviously. Uh -huh. um, the number one problem with this field uh, mm -hmm. is actually our county government. Mm -hmm. We pay a lot of fees mm -hmm. to operate in the city uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. And apart from that, even if you pay them the fees, mm -hmm. you still meet them on the road. Uh -huh. you know, like they chai. want something. You know, you've not really made so much during your mm -hmm. day sometimes, mm -hmm. but they still want kachai still want and kachai. something, you know. All right, why don't you just cook a lot of tea? <laughs> 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 All right, so this mm. issue of corruption is really affecting your business. Yeah, it's, it's really on the high side. It's really annoying. Eh? Yeah, it's very annoying mm -hmm. because you wonder why should you pay for the fees eh? mm -hmm. and yet get harassed, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So it's something I actually feel like the county govern government should actually mm -hmm. really focus on it, mm -hmm. help us, because we're just young people trying to help even other young people. Mm -hmm. But the moment every day you have sagas, you mm -hmm. have tips. It's very easy know, to give so, up. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Corruption is one challenge you're facing. Mm -hmm. So to number <laughs> Serikali, not to number Governor Sonko, mm -hmm. uh, please Safisha, the council, uh, so that we can do business. Uh, come on, youth. What is yeah. another challenge you're facing? Uh, the other challenge I face, mm -hmm. this one I'll, I'll speak personally as an uh, employer. Mm -hmm. We find we have so many unemployed youths, mm -hmm. but finding the right people mm -hmm. is actually a very big challenge. Mm -hmm. People with a zeal. Because, uh -huh. you know, young people these days, they think stuff comes easy. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes easy. 
They want to bet. They want to bet. They uh -huh. want to do, you know, easy stuff. Mm -hmm. You just want to chill at home and do easy stuff online. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Good things don't come easy. Uh -huh. So we finding the right employees. We still need to go employees. out there and yeah. work. Yeah. As much as the internet is there exactly. to support us. You, you had to, to go work. out there and get your first motorbike. Exactly. And fast For you to, uh, to keep grow. progressing. As much as you had the internet. Exactly. All right. Uh, the last challenge. Uh -huh. I don't want to focus on the challenges so much. Um, just something another challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously meeting the demand sometimes mm -hmm. it's a bit hectic okay. it's 24 hours no no we don't talk 24 hours uh -huh. opening from around 8 30 to 9 uh -huh. to around 6 6 30 depending with the demand of the day mm -hmm. so also as a young person having mm -hmm. the workforce you don't mm -hmm. have so much muscle mm -hmm. but you have to keep pushing at the end of the day there are no right. two ways about it okay so uh as a woman, as you're, you're the woman, you're the CEO. Mm -hmm. I know you face your own challenges as a woman walking into boardrooms trying to sort partnerships. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's, there's challenges that women yeah. face in business. Yeah. Uh, have you tried to empower some women in your business? Yes, uh, the women I have actually in my business, mm -hmm. they're actually online sellers mm -hmm. because I'm encouraging so many people, especially young people. Mm -hmm. This is a very big platform mm -hmm. in the online. Big market. It's so huge. We don't need to get a... Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm encouraging so many women mm -hmm. to get something. Everybody has an idea, mm -hmm. but the starting is a problem. Mm -hmm. So I'm encouraging many women. I have mm -hmm. a lot of people who inbox me for mm -hmm. encouragement, for mm -hmm. business advice. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually Very encouraging... Very soon you're writing a book, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I have many women, uh -huh. not even men, who mm -hmm. are very younger, mm -hmm. they need advice on how to progress online, mm -hmm. how to steer fast your products online. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of target people who I want to influence at this time. All right. Yeah. So uh, working with women to encourage them to start their own businesses yeah. that you are going to support. Yeah. All right. Maybe a, a woman who rides a bike in future. Um, you have not found one yet. <laughs> oh, oh, the, for employing. Yeah. I'm actually searching for one right now. You're if they're watching, they should actually reach out. We have to go to Kazi. Kazi. Modest Collection is looking for a woman who can ride a bike yeah, yeah. and work as a delivery person. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. The first one ever. I think <laughs> I have not seen any. No, around. they're actually there. Uh -huh. They're actually they're there. They're actually there. Yeah, but they're very few. They're very few. Yeah, but I'm looking for one. You're even looking even for one. Not even, even one. Just not one. Just one. So yeah. if you're watching right now, uh, mm -hmm. be sure to contact Modest Collection. If you're a woman and you can ride a bike and you think you can deliver. You see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, back to the matter now. Mm -hmm. uh, you obviously walk into boardrooms. Yeah. Uh, you've tried to sort partnerships. Yes. All right. Uh, what are some of the stereotypes that you hate when you walk into a boardroom as, as a woman yeah. and uh, you're trying to sell a dream or you're trying to sell something from modest collections? Yeah. What are some of the things that you face that you hate? There's a notion now, uh -huh. but right now it's actually, I feel like it's not so much like uh -huh. some while back when I began, uh -huh. especially in this delivery field, uh -huh. people don't think you have the know-how uh -huh. about a bike uh -huh. or how this thing should work. Uh -huh. They don't think like you can handle it uh -huh. or you can handle the pressure. Uh -huh. So most of the time you find before you speak in a boardroom, mm -hmm. people have the, you know, mm -hmm. can you handle this? Can you really? Let's yeah. see what you can do. But like, now uh -huh. if you have the content, uh -huh. once you speak up mm -hmm. and once you believe in yourself, because mm -hmm. that's where it starts. This is the second time I'm hearing this. Yeah, mm -hmm. So the best defense for a, for a queen in mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. is what you have upstairs. Exactly. Knowledge. Exactly. Knowledge is your first, is your artillery, everything. Everything. your arsenal. Plus confidence, because uh -huh. you have to be very confident. When you're presenting exactly. this knowledge. Yeah. All right, yeah. talking about knowledge now, uh, what, uh, what is the importance uh, of just doing your research and do you get to do your research most of the time? Yes, mm -hmm. I read a lot. Uh, you read a lot? Yes, I read a lot. Where do you get your content from, the content that you read? Um, mostly online. Uh -huh. I listen, I like listening to like Jack Ma, uh -huh. people who've used online to steer fast their dream mm -hmm. to the next level. So you need uh, people to look up to? Exactly. Uh, like your idols yeah. or what do you call them? <laughs> Are they role models? Uh, role or? models, that <laughs> yeah. is what I'm looking for. Yeah. So you need role models, yeah. you need to be reading a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. You need to be reading a lot. Mm -hmm. I also like uh, interacting with my colleagues mm -hmm. or other my employees, mm -hmm. but my colleagues. Eh? Uh -huh. I like talking to them. So you call your employees your colleagues? Yeah, they're my colleagues. <laughs> We're working together. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I like interacting with them. Modest for you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like interacting with them because uh -huh. they actually know so much. 
more than what you can think. Because mm -hmm. for me, I'm in the office handling things, mm -hmm. but they're in the field. They're in the field. So my experience and the experience is, is very different. different. But you need the experience for so this I business So I need the experience for me uh -huh. to also draw it to my mm -hmm. business. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, so uh, modes of payment. Um, uh, mm -hmm. what, what modes of payment? Are you, are you incorporating technology, this modern day technology and yes. the ways that you yes. get paid? These days, uh, especially if you look at our handled modest collection, mm -hmm. huh? we don't encourage cash mm -hmm. because it's not safe, number one. Mm -hmm. And so many things are involved when someone has cash. Mm -hmm. So we're using our TIL numbers. Mm -hmm. We're also encouraging so many online sellers who mm -hmm. have not acquired their TIL numbers. Mm -hmm. They actually do it because mm -hmm. it's a safe platform mm -hmm. where you cannot get conned mm -hmm. and where you cannot also... Um, how can I say it? There's, you have this credibility. Mm -hmm. Because once you're paid 200, how mm -hmm. do you remember two weeks from now mm -hmm. that you're paid 200 today? All right. So it's good for accountability uh -huh. to have these platforms that are not physical. Because you can always go for your statements exactly. and check them. And so accounting is very important yeah. as a person in business. Exactly. Wonderful right there. Yeah. All right, so white for, white five four channel on Twitter, white five four underscore channel on Instagram, and white five four on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Don't forget the hashtag Queens Wednesday. Don't forget the hashtag Strength of Omen. And don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from so we can give you guys a shout out. All right, so uh, yeah, we have topics that we were talking about in mm -hmm. the intro mm -hmm. and I'd like to get your perspective on this because one affected, uh, one was affecting a child mm -hmm. and the other one was affecting senior citizens. Mm -hmm. But before we talk about that, mm -hmm. as you prepare to talk about that, mm -hmm. you have been nominated for an award already. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. We're super excited, right. but still nervous because uh -huh. we don't know that we're going to win. Uh -huh. This is the Business Kenya Awards uh -huh. for the SMEs. Uh -huh. Actually, voting is ongoing right now. Uh -huh. Tell them how to vote. Yeah. Ombakura. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Modis Collection has actually been uh -huh. nominated under the Transport and Logistics category. Uh -huh. So it's in my handle, Lois Kamanu, or in uh, both Facebook and Instagram. You'll find the link there. Go vote for us. It will actually make a difference, not only mm -hmm. for us, but also for other young people who are mm -hmm. coming. Other young people in yeah. business. Yes. All right. So how did you get the, the? How did you first get the news that you've been nominated? I've been nominated. I actually got an email mm -hmm. that uh, there's some nominations going on somewhere, mm -hmm. and uh, my clients mm -hmm. and I don't know who else mm -hmm. have actually voted for me mm -hmm. to be shortlisted in the nomination. All oh, right. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. So your fans and uh, your colleagues, yes. uh, like nominated you. Yeah, I was not aware about it. You were not aware. No. So this means you're doing something right. We're trying. You're trying. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. <laughs> All, right. All right. So what are the, what are some of the importance of these these awards the, or these accolades? Uh, actually, mm -hmm. they actually still. How can I put it? Uh, let me find the right words for it. Uh. They give uh -huh. a vote of confidence. Uh -huh. That is the you perfect. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you actually feel like you're doing something mm -hmm. and it encourages you when you see yourself motivating other people. Mm -hmm. But how I've just told you, I don't want it just for myself. Mm -hmm. I want to show someone somewhere. You can come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Don't sit down and wait for your capital. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Need to wake up. You need Do to wake something. up. As long as you put yourself outside there, uh -huh. Someone will spot you. Someone will spot you. Yeah. And to see you have kazi all the time. Ah, We've been crying too much. Yeah, so many young people are saying that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop sitting down. Stop sitting down. Stop being scared because that's something I've seen. Mm -hmm. Stop being scared. Go outside. You mm -hmm. never know who's watching. Go outside. You never know who's watching. Yeah. Right now, you're operating uh, within Nairobi, yeah? Yes. Nairobi County. Yeah. Are there any plans to take it outside Nairobi? Ah, definitely. Mm -hmm. We have plans underway mm -hmm. to actually venture in Thika mm -hmm. and now. Mm -hmm. Then we can now move to Coast and mm -hmm. also Eldoret. Mm -hmm. So we have teams there who are doing their research mm -hmm. so to see how people have embraced uh, mm -hmm. their online marketing and online business mm -hmm. in other cities apart from Nairobi. Because you can only thrive where people are buying online. Exactly. All right. So you need to do your research first. You need to do your research first. Well. Research is there. very important. Yes. All right. So uh, do you outsource for these, uh, mm -hmm. these services of uh, research or mm -hmm. it's within the team here? Um, it's both ways. Mm -hmm. We have people who we actually give the assignment mm -hmm. because sometimes we may not be able to travel far, especially mm -hmm. myself or my colleagues. Mm -hmm. But even myself, I take the assignment, mm -hmm. especially I travel a lot. So mm -hmm. I talk to the residents, I talk to the people. Mm -hmm. So it's always a teamwork. 
So you cannot do Dima. by by yourself. Thank you very much, uh, Lois Kumano. I still have some tasks for you. Oh, uh, okay. But before we get to the tasks, so I'd like to address some topics that we talk about. We talked about uh, this morning mm -hmm. uh, in our intro, mm -hmm. and we had a ten-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. Was it ten years, Joy? Ten years. Mm -hmm. A ten-year-old girl at Nairobi Women's Hospital okay. was uh, sexually abused by a lab technician at, that, uh, at the hospital. Uh, so the story is quite sad. Uh, she, the, te the technician woke her up in the middle of the night, took her to some room and telling her that he was going to treat her, then started massaging the girl and started touching her in whatever places and then did whatever he did. And this girl was smart enough to go to the nurse that, w that was on duty immediately and uh, her claims were found to be true. And this guy's license has been taken away mm. and uh, investigation are going on. So as a person who is working with kids, mm. uh, what do you have to say about this person? Some of the topics actually are really dear to my heart mm -hmm. because in the fact that I've told you I interact with so many women, mm -hmm. I've realized so many women have gone through so much, mm -hmm. but very few have come out. Mm -hmm. So actually that's a topic I look forward to in mm -hmm. the future mm -hmm. to actually look into it because it really saddens me. Mm -hmm. It saddens me that so many things are happening, but people are scared. Mm -hmm. people so are coming scared. out is very important. Coming out is very important, mm -hmm. but it's very scary at the it's same time. It's very scary at the same time. Exactly. So what would you tell somebody like me? Uh, who, uh, people will obviously assume uh, mm -hmm. there, there will be stigma if I come out. Yeah. So how am I supposed to show them that I'm not going to stigmatize them? Because they're already going to assume that I'm going exactly. to stigmatize them. Yeah. So how, how, how can I support for a gentleman like, like myself? Oh, for a gentleman like yourself, mm -hmm. uh, how I would actually answer that question, mm -hmm. eh? I feel like it's also good eh? mm -hmm. we take the initiative to ourselves, mm -hmm. come up with forums mm -hmm. where we can always meet. Mm -hmm. We don't have to meet in public. Mm -hmm. Come up with support forums mm -hmm. that we can encourage each other. Community-based. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because it's at the personal level mm -hmm. for you to be able to come out to the mm -hmm. public. All right. Yeah. So as a woman in business, do you think financial or economic freedom uh, can reduce these cases of sexual abuse in women? If women are economically mm -hmm. empowered, do you think mm -hmm. it's going to reduce? Yeah, I feel like um, the moment that you're economically empowered, uh, mm -hmm. that thing brings out your confidence. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you that... You can afford a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but there's a part that comes when mm -hmm. you're economically um, stable mm -hmm. or the moment that you're interacting with people because mm -hmm. there's no you can be economically somewhere mm -hmm. and not interact with people. Mm -hmm. So this interaction with so many people actually helps someone. Mm -hmm. So the more women that we bring in, mm -hmm. the better it is. All because right. these are the same women who have gone through things. Mm -hmm. So it's the same, same women who are going to bring out others who are hiding mm -hmm. below. Thank you very much for that message. Psychologist by <laughs> training from the University of Nairobi. So it's very credible. Right, on to our next story. And this one was about a couple, uh, a very senior couple in the, in the States. Mm -hmm. They have been using this, uh, this chemical to, mm -hmm. kill, to kill, what are they called? Uh, these unwanted plants mm -hmm. in your garden. What do you call them? <laughs> huh? The weed. Yeah, the weed section. <laughs> weed, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, weed has different has been yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has been tarnished okay. in the streets. But yeah. these this chemical kill is used to kill the weeds. Mm -hmm. So uh it has a certain chemical mm -hmm. that uh allegedly mm -hmm. causes cancer. So they went to court to say they've been using this product for a while and they blame the their cancer on this product. Uh, the jury gave them two, bi two billion dollars mm. uh, in punitive damages mm -hmm. and 58 million in compensation. Uh -huh. What do you think about this particular story? Two billion dollars. In a basis where is it true yes, that, it, 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 that is satisfied? Uh, all right, for, 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 for them to give, for, for the jury to do that, the yeah. lawyer had to prove beyond reasonable doubt yeah. that this particular thing was the cause of their cancer. Mm -hmm. $2 billion, they're senior citizens, $58 million uh, in compensation. Maybe everybody has their own perspective, mm -hmm. but I feel like such money uh -huh. could have been put into maybe cancer treatment uh -huh. or such kind of forums. Because mm -hmm. once you compensate them, are you sure that they're going to use that money to actually heal or empower mm -hmm. anybody? Mm -hmm. For me, I, I, I don't All think right, so that's... The company so, so should <laughs> be charged 
to do something about cancer, exactly. not put all that money in not somebody's pocket. Not just give pocket. someone the money. All right, but that is why I think there's 58 billion for their compensation mm -hmm. and, and also 2 billion for punitive damages. So 2 billion, I think, is going to go for Which these is things, fair enough. Which then. is fair enough. All right, <laughs> yeah. so the reason I ask this, mm -hmm. as a person who owns a business, do yeah. you think uh, business owners or employers should always have responsibility for their actions? I think you should have responsibility for your actions. Mm -hmm. Because in my own perspective, uh, mm -hmm. the obviously every company has its own terms and regulations, mm -hmm. but the moment a fault has come in, don't move away. Mm -hmm. Because the moment something good was said, you were there. Mm -hmm. The moment something bad was said, mm -hmm. own, own up. Always own up. own up. Thank you very much, Lois Kamanu, uh, CEO mm -hmm. and founder of Modest Collections. Just remind them how they can get you online and how mm. they can get to work with you yeah. and please uh, search for that first lady who's going to be delivering on you're yeah, actually looking for that lady uh, right. uh -huh. so you can actually get us lois kamanu mm -hmm. on facebook mm -hmm. on instagram lois underscore kamanu and uh in instagram modest collection facebook modest collection and we're also on twitter right yeah our contacts are there reaches out if you have any inquiries inbox there is always a team ready to serve you there's always a team ready to serve you at yeah. Modest Collections. Yeah. So today, my sign language interpreter of the day is Lois Kamani. Ah. So we are going... <laughs> are you ready for this? <laughs> are you ready for this? I didn't so see Lois that. So is going... <laughs> okay. Lois is Let's going go. to be doing some sign language <laughs> interpretation. So, uh... Uh, okay. Are okay. you ready? Okay, let's are ready? go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but this is... We have come to the end of the show. This is signing out now. All right, so thank you very much for watching Strength of a Woman. I go by the name of Barry Moses. <laughs> That's how you say Barry Moses. <laughs> yes, it's a B A R R Y. Oh, oh yes. Barry Moses. Oh, it's Barry Mo on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> on social media. And uh, my sign language interpreter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. My sign uh -huh. language interpreter. It's Lois Kamanu. And she is our strength of a woman of the day. Color Vival is coming up next with Girls Talk, a hot topic. You don't want to miss this. Don't touch that down. Thank you. <laughs> 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 ah, I had a good Feel time. Good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a good time.